I think, I um, feel like I, I was ready to come out. I didn't know, coming from a Sikh background and um, an Asian background, it was really hard for me to um, tell my family initially. Was there any support within the community in which you grew up? No, unfortunately not. I didn't find no support. And again, even today, I believe there's not a lot of support in my community because the situation's not addressed. The shame and stigma of being called queer is like too much for people to take, but it's not because we're fabulous. So, you know, at the end of the day, there needs to be more representation and more awareness. What was the reaction from your family? I've been disowned by my brother-in-law and my brother, my big brother, we no longer speak. Um, he disowned me five, six years ago now, and it's very hard because um, I have little nephews and stuff like that, so that was quite hard. Um, at the end of the day, he's happy in his life, and I'm happy in my life at the end of the day, but it did come with losing that relationship, and it does have, a, as I said, it all had a knock-on effect from what happened. Did you ever think that that would be the case, Lucky? No, because me and my brother were like this, so for me it was um, shocking, I have to say. It was very shocking, yeah. And what do you think that was based on? I think it's based on lack of awareness again.